Today I'm taking a look at a dash uh, instrument cluster. Uh, this is for a BMW, uh, BMW uh, video uh, style instrument cluster. I think they put these in a lot of European cars. Um, this has intermittent tack and uh, speedometer issues. Uh, more than likely it's just a ground issue, but we're actually going to pull this apart and see if we can find out where the intermittent connection is at. These typically have a, uh, a set of screws on the outer edge um, that will allow you to get the bezel off. You want to be really careful um, not to damage the gauges. Uh, you don't want to touch any of the needle faces or the needles. There we go, and usually these are done as modules. Uh, each one of these is going to be a video uh, module. Uh, you just want to be real careful with it. Uh, usually they have a, a main board in the rear. Uh, try to clean up as best you can. I don't know if you can see on this one or not, but a lot of the bulbs are really dirty and uh, good time to replace them uh, and or clean the bulbs. The construction is, you know, old old style construction. Big things to look for are um, leaky NICADs, uh, leaky caps, uh, bad connections, um, and there are a few edge connectors uh, that you need to be mindful of. Okay, we've got this apart. Um, really the only thing you have to do is there's actually a, uh, a stationary plug um, that goes in the slot. Uh, this would be on the tachometer. Um, I'm not really sure what these do. this particular one does, but generally this actually sets the tack sense speed. Uh, this one's got a 03 on it. I don't know if that's basically the, the same tack module can be used for several different cars depending on how many cylinders it has. Um, one of the things that I really don't like about these designs is all of these modules slide in and actually connect via these pins. Um, and you can take a look at this one. I mean, the pins aren't, aren't necessarily always straight, um, and they're really prone to getting corroded. Um, these just filling of them, you can feel the uh, uh, dust that's actually on the connector itself. and. The interior, although the gauge set is really, really clean, but interior-wise, the bulbs and the board and all of the connectors are really dusty. Uh, so we're going to clean all that up and check and see if we have any other issues. This particular unit will have, uh, almost all of them I've seen have NICADs uh, batteries, and that's really just for the, uh, as you're changing out your battery, it'll keep uh, settings. I think on this particular one, uh, it's really just for the clock and a couple other things. On higher end units, uh, they'll actually keep your trip odometer and, and things like that as you swap out your battery. Um, I highly recommend, if you can, uh, to actually unsolder those tabs for the NICADs uh, and just put on a super cap or a lithium battery or anything other than something that's going to leak and damage the board. Uh, this particular one looks like it has leaked. Uh, I don't know the damage yet. Um, they are glued and, and affixed and actually soldered to the board, but um, they're fairly easy to, to fix and replace. These are the individual modules. Um, this particular one has basically a through hole uh, pin capture. Um, Typically, the tacks, you know, basically you can imagine what's going on. There's a bolt that's going to the tack, and that determines how far it goes. Uh, uh, just looking in there, there's a, you know, a few caps, uh, some logic circuits, and it looks like voltage regulation and adjustment. Uh, all the adjustments for the tack are right on the side, uh, the small potentiometers. On this particular one, there are actually three.
This is a speedometer. Uh, a couple of interesting things about it. Um, it actually has a mechanical reset uh, for the uh, trip odometer. Um, and these are really neat. Uh, I know a lot of people hate them because they have a lot of gears on them, but if you kind of look in there, there's a big gear set. And actually, there's a few companies online that actually sell replacement gears for these old video gauges. Uh, a little bit of electronic cleaner Jenny will clean most of the surface stuff off. I still do recommending, you know, just making sure the pins are actually tight and actually kind of uh, just lightly going over each pin with something abrasive uh, to actually clean off any oxidation and get a good connection. Uh, if you have it now, is a good time to put on some, you know, deox or some kind of protectant uh, that will actually prevent oxidation. On this particular unit, um, the NICAD caps um, kind of have popped off on both of these uh, NICADs. Uh, do get a poor reading. Um, I'm getting about a volt uh, out of each battery. Uh, you can kind of, I hope you can see here, you can kind of look uh, at the tops, uh, not the bottoms, but the tops. Both of the caps have kind of peeled out and some stuff's leaked out. I've already kind of sprayed some cleaner down in there to get rid of, of anything that I didn't want to get on my hands. Uh, on this particular one, I want to kind of clean this up and uh, see what I can come up with as far as a replacement. This should give you a little bit better look about the condition. Um, if you look on this one, it's actually came apart. Um, same thing on the back, on the reverse battery. Uh, Basically, if, if you ever pull apart one of these, make sure that you replace these. Um, if you can, actually replace them with something uh, really high end that won't leak. Uh, one thing you'll want to do is just a lot of these lights will actually be really dingy. Uh, and for some reason, even the LEDs get that way. Um, but now's a good time to kind of clean those up um, and just you know wipe them down, and they'll actually be a lot brighter uh, when you when you actually get get it all back together. And that's basically the gauge pod all back together. Um, one thing I wanted to note, one thing I noticed um, when I took this apart, there's a there's a gap. Um, on one side of this and just as you tighten this back up just kind of make sure that you do it in a in a crisscross pattern starting from the center um, you know obviously getting this back together this this joint ended up being perfect um, you know it just keeps debris I think that's where a lot of the dust and things come from as it actually went in through here um, the top of this unit's really dusty and it just kind of uh, goes down into the crack that was here